Hi, this is Gary Yelton for GearWire. I'm here with Michelle Mogkusa. She is the executive director of the Bob Moog Foundation, and she's going to tell us what their mission is and what you can do for the Bob Moog Foundation. Hi, everybody. Uh, the mission of the Bob Moog Foundation is to ignite creativity through the intersection of music, science, history, and innovation. This is how we're carrying Bob Moog's legacy forward. This was his mission, and in turn, it is our mission as well. We're doing that through three different goals that we have. So our first goal is our Moog Lab educational project, where we bring electronic musical instruments into the schools to teach kids the science behind electronic music. We're essentially using Moog instruments and other instruments to get kids engaged in science. Our second goal is protecting and preserving Bob Moog's archives. Bob left behind this very extensive and historic collection of all kinds of mediums from real trail tapes and videos and articles and prototypes um, and so much more that we are protecting and preserving to, to, to share with the public and to future gener with future generations. Those two goals will eventually converge into our Hallmark project which is the Moogseum, um, which is meant to be an interactive facility, again at the intersection of science and music. It's where our first two educational goal, our educational goal and our historic goal will converge. There are a lot of people who think that the Moogseum is going to be just what we see here behind you and it's going to start out that way right off the bat. That's not the case, is it? Well, the Moogseum, as I said, is kind of our hallmark project. It's our long-term vision. And it's a big, beautiful vision that we will achieve at some point, but in this economy, it makes it a little bit more challenging. But we're committed to bringing this vision to fruition in small but meaningful iterations. We actually have a mini Moogseum in the Orange Peel, which is the big music venue in Asheville, North Carolina, that's seen by about 100,000 people a year. It's a, it's a showcase that's about eight feet high and five feet wide. You can go on our website and see some information about it. It's where we have a small rotating exhibit of Bob's archives on a permanent basis in Asheville. What we would like, our next step would be to open a Moogseum Beta, which is a storefront Moogseum in downtown Asheville, something around 2,000 square feet where we can bring kids in, to get their hands on the instruments, and have a really beautiful display of Bob's archives. So that, that's kind of the next step, along with traveling exhibits. We are working right now to create a traveling exhibit for 2012 or 2013, so keep your eyes out for that. Um, and then that will eventually lead into the, our larger vision of, of the big Moogseum. One question that a lot of people have is, what is the relationship between Moog Music and the Bob Moog Foundation? Well, that's a really good question, and I get it all the time. Uh, the Bob Moog Foundation is a small, independent, 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are not formally affiliated with Moog Music, although, of course, we are friends but we are completely independent from them. They manufacture the amazing instruments and we reach out to the public with our social outreach message of this intersection of music, science, and innovation. So it is a, there are two very different organizations. So obviously you can't do this all by yourself. How can people help? Well, the foundation was created knowing that Bob Moog had this amazing legacy of impacting people's lives all over the world. And we created the foundation counting on the fact that people whose lives were touched, uh, that those same people would support our mission and help lift and carry Bob Moog's legacy forward. So the way that people can help is by going on our website, which is moogfoundation.org, and donating. You can donate online. You can also send in a donation. There's all kinds of information online. And you shouldn't be shy about the amount you can donate if you've been touched by Bob Moog's legacy in any way. A $5 donation, a $10 donation, a $1,000 donation, it's all meaningful, it all adds up, and it all helps make us stronger, especially in these economic times. There are also other things people can do, and we've actually made up these special bookmarks for NAM that show that, yes, we do need funding to keep going, but there are other ways people can help, including lending your time and expertise, donating music to the foundation that we can sell on iTunes, donating archival materials if you happen to be a collector and can add to our existing archive, uh, lending your Moog stories to our, our collection, 
and there are several other ways. Again, you can go on our website and find out there are many, many ways that you can help the foundation, and I hope that you will because we really do need the Moog community around us to help us thrive. Thanks very much, Michelle. That's M Michelle Moog Kusa from the Bob Moog Foundation. And remember, if you want to contribute or you want any more information about the foundation, go to www.bobmoogfoundation.org.